नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत ऑफिस दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्ट एंड यूनिक मैनर फाइ द एक्सपर्ट साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स भारत ऑफ फर्स्ट प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आस्क योर डाउट बाय द फॉर्म हुज लिंक हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम आवर साइंस एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर हु इज हेयर विद अस टू एंसर द क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर इज अ सीनियर मोस्ट साइंटिस्ट एट विज्ञान प्रसार न्यू दिल्ली ही इज ऑल्सो द फाउंडर ऑफ इंडिया साइंस वायर सो लेट्स बिगे इन दिसन विथ टूडे इज क्वेश्चन today's question is what is indian space association how it will benefit indian space sector indian space association has been uh, recently launched and uh, the prime minister uh, uh, inaugurated that uh, initiative it's a initiative by uh, industry in india which have been associated with the space and uh, satellite uh, uh, companies for quite long time many uh, companies are users of the space segment or they were providers of technology or uh, providers of uh, uh, technical uh, help to uh, isro for quite some time they have all come together and formed this space indian space association okay so what is the background to this uh, form if you look at uh, the uh, uh, isro indian uh, space research uh, uh, organization prime minister is the uh, uh, usually the cabinet minister and uh, prime minister is assisted by a space commission which is an advisory body then there is a department of space department of space uh, the isro is one of the main arm of this uh, department of space and under isro there are various isro centers like uh, uh, for satellite launching you have a satellite uh, uh, construction for constructing a satellite there is a isro satellite center in bangalore for uh, launching a launch vehicle and put a satellite into space you have a space fort in uh, sri harikota right like this there are many centers for isro till now uh, isro had a commercial wing called antariksh which used to sell some of the isro's unused capacities like you put a communication satellite there may be some transponder which is not used by uh, government of india or isro or doordarshan or uh, uh, any of the government of india's uh, effort so then that spare capacity used to be sold through antariksh to various uh, uh, players both in international and indian including for example when you are putting a launch uh, vehicle there may be some space empty space available for uh, taking a payload so a small satellite from foreign country used to be launched using the antariksh uh, about few years ago government of india came up with a new institution called nsil national space india limited so the antariksh was just selling what was available as spare capacity in isro but whereas nsil was supposed to get the uh, market that is say for example if somebody wants to launch a, a, a spacecraft get those specification and make isro take up that work okay so antariksh was only spare capacity but here it is commercialization okay so that was what uh, the uh, national space india limited was uh, expected to do uh, recently the government has uh, gone ahead and uh, taken step in uh, what might be called as privatization of uh, india's uh, space uh, efforts so it has formed a new organization called in space so what is this in space supposed to in space is supposed to do isro has lot of facilities right isro centers for constructing satellite to uh, launching uh, satellite the facilities have to be commercialized so you are a company you want to uh, uh, build a satellite you need a, a, a right uh, environment for building a satellite like say for example you need a place where uh, there is no dust it's called a class 4 uh, construction facility okay uh it may not be economical for you to uh, uh, build that in your own company so what do you do you go and hire that facility from isro right so like that 
the uh, government is now looking at uh, Indian industry using the uh, ISRO's facility and uh, uh, developing into space industry. So it's part of the uh, privatization uh, drive of uh, the uh, government. They have started this in space. So given this in space has emerged and the potential for uh, uh, using ISRO centers and uh, becoming uh, space powers, uh, uh, Indian industry can become the space power. Uh, the uh, Indian Space Association has come into existence. Boom and I'll say Brahman, that is a, a tagline that they are uh, talking about. So if you look at uh, who are all the members of this uh, organization, Artel, why do you, you will think that where is Artel coming in? Artel is a user of space sector, okay? Similarly, like uh, one way. But if you look at, for example, uh, uh, Lawson and Tubro, Lawson and Tubro is a company which has been uh, providing technical help to ISRO for quite a long time. Okay, whenever there is a ISRO launch, some component is actually uh, fabricated in Lawson and Tubro. Okay, so it's a combination of uh, uh, organization which uses space segment and also uh, have uh, uh, providing technology to Indian uh, space segment. Uh, uh, together, uh, the idea is to develop Indian uh, space industry in private sector. That's the idea of uh, Indian Space Association. So, Lieutenant General A.K. Butt is uh, the Director General of uh, Indian Space Association. Uh, ISRO has become one of the associate member of uh, this Indian Space Association. Quite obviously, it needs to be because they have to provide the uh, uh, facility. So, uh, what it says is that uh, Indian Space Association would work with the Government of India to develop policies which will enable the uh, privatization to take place seamlessly. Okay, so that's the uh, uh, idea of Indian Space Association. 